Good morning, everyone. The message today is spur each other on. Now, when I think of the word spur, I think of cowboy boots. You know, the big brown boots with the spinny, spiky silver wheel on the back. And that spur that's on the back of their boot is there to encourage a horse that they're riding to go faster or to keep going. Now, those spikes need to be used in a certain way for them to actually do their job. If those sharp spikes cut the horse in any other uh, kind of area that it's meant to, it can do some real damage and actually it won't do what it's meant to do. For example, if it cut the, the legs of the horses, then actually that would slow it down and it wouldn't be doing what it's meant to be doing. It would be a discouragement rather than an encouragement. You could even say a slur rather than a spur. Now, in Hebrews 10, uh, Paul is not talking about a metal spike when he uses this word. He's talking about we need to, how we need to encourage each other to love and to do good works. The Greek word he actually uses here uh, that we translate as spur, means to incite or to sharpen. So when Paul talks about spurring each other on, he's saying that we need to kind of almost stir up emotions in each of us uh, to convince each other of good reasons why we should be doing this and inspiring each other to live in a way that sharpens our thinking and behaviour. Now, like a horse's spur, our words can encourage or seriously maim. Sometimes something we say, even with the best intentions, or we might be right to say something. Sometimes those things actually, if misplaced, can do more damage than, than, than good. Sometimes we say things that might be right, might be well intended, uh, but it lacks something that makes it encouraging and helpful. And we read in 1 Corinthians 13 that the ingredient that we need for that is love. Love is such a loaded word, isn't it? It can often just generalise something so grand. But actually when you break it down, we see things like kindness. We see gentleness, sensitivity, patience. All of our interactions must contain these things. The Christian mission is to spur others towards Jesus. If we try and do that out of a sense of duty, or if we feel like it's just the right thing to do, but we do that without love, without kindness, gentleness, sensitivity or patience, then like Paul says, we'll just be a clanging symbol. If God is love, then we need to be loving. So today, in your words, from your mouth or your fingers and thumbs, spur each other on.